Today's question is question number five of the model question paper number seven. The 3030 initiative can play a vital role in protecting the planet's ecosystems and biodiversity for future generations. Elaborate. This question will be from GS paper three. And here we are mainly focusing on 30 cross 30 initiative. So 30 cross 30 initiative key are tar port at a detail explanation ami yat sam a answer to jogedi so let's come to this uh, you can see here that 30 cross 30 30% 30 of our most important lands and waters conserved by 2030 so the 30 cross 30 target implies protection of at least 30% see the term at least okay uh at least thirty percent of the world's land and ocean by twenty thirty. Hey, to kani yeh to tam koi se thirty mane thirty percent. Ami at least save korim ki world or land ba ocean, land or ocean, or kiti aloi ke twenty thirty. So that's why the term thirty cross thirty. The thirty cross thirty target is a global target that aims to halt the accelerating loss of species and protect vital ecosystem that are the source of our economic security now high ambition coalition high ambition coalitions for nature and people was formed in 2021 to promote an international agreement on 30 cross 30 target so is a 30 cross 30 target as well they start a high ambition coalition for nature and people our Ketia Hosil, twenty twenty one not form Hosil. Our Kate Tia, thirty cross thirty target agreement Luahoi. India officially joined the High Ambition Coalition for Nature and People in twenty twenty one. So India officially twenty one of the joint Gorisila. India has proposed to establish sustainable coastal and ocean research institute to meet the needs and aspirations of the pacific island countries scori remember scori means sustainable coastal and ocean research institute institute sustainable coastal and ocean research institute is an uh, proposed institute by india to meet the needs and aspiration of the pacific in island countries big now, protecting forests and grasslands can help slow climate change by promoting carbon storage in soil and plants. We know that because of the climate change, today's uh, a kind of strange atmospheric circumstances or atmospheric events are going on. You can see that cyclones are most frequently appearing or mostly targeting now western side or part Arabian coastal regions also which was rarely seen earlier. It is, this All these are the effect of climate change only. Now, here it is said that protecting forests and grasslands can help slow climate, climate change by promoting the carbon storage in soil and plants. Now, grasslands, wetlands, forests, and other ecosystems naturally absorb and store carbon. Studies have shown that protecting and preserving these features of the natural world could allow for the annual absorption of one by fifth of all U.S. greenhouse gas emissions, equivalent to emission from all U.S. vehicles. So uh, then we can talk about, you know that India Great step of the Yami, uh, a black, um, Kimiliko, Hobo Paruze, grassland, wetlands, forest, black preserve, Kubo Partner, Amazon Kini, emission, high greenhouse gas emission, Hekini Kami, absorb carbon. Like in case of US, one by fifth of all US greenhouse gases emissions can be absorbed through them. Through them means grassland, wetlands, forests, other ecosystems. Now, tall grasses and prairie plants. And these landscapes are well known for their ability to absorb and store carbon in roots and soil. Then maintaining grasslands near agricultural fields can boost crop production because, you know, grasslands promote diversity, support pollinators and host predators that can help suppress the potential pests 
and they also help improve biodiversity, soil health, and water quality. Yes, grassland jodi ami agriculture field or sort jodi uh, maintain koi paparu. Then the grassland or eta characteristics as it, it can promote the biodiversity and pollinators and host the predators. Then the key of potential zikini pest attack hoy, pest attack zikini hoy, hekini ami chrome korabo paim. So grassland or dora, we can directly write like that maintaining grassland near agriculture field will help uh, the farmers by protecting their crop fields from potential pest attack. Then forests not only have a role in maintaining biodiversity, but also their ability to fix large amounts of carbon from the atmosphere and thereby mitigating the climate change. No kole hobo, ami zanu ze forest or rule ki hoi, biodiversity maintain korat. Right. Then forest cover also alter hydrological cycle, reduce stream flow, and decrease albedo, a measure of solar radiation reflected from the earth's surface, which can contribute to warming and lead to the loss of unique biodiversity. Right. So forest cover is very important. Obviously, forest cover forest cover cover forest cover forest cover cover forest cover deep dense forest bully I cut it over open forest bully cover dense forest bully cover. So forest cover again is a very important part. Now potential of 30 cross 30 initiative. It is important important grassland, then grassland near agriculture field, then forest and forest covers their rule for maintaining biodiversity we have just discussed. Then potential of 30 cross 30 initiative in order to address both the diversity, biodiversity crisis and the climate crisis. There is a growing scientific research that half of the planet must be kept in a natural state. Some papers have suggested that the number should even higher and some have suggested slightly lower. So the AMI biodiversity crisis or climate crisis to address then we have to keep our half of the planet resources in their natural state. Despite this, experts agree that a scientifically credible and necessary interim goal is to achieve at least a minimum of 30% of protection by 2030. So that, that particular goal of maintaining at least half resources in their natural state will be possible only if we can achieve minimum of 30% target by 20. 30. There is a wealth of scientific data documenting the need for increased special targets in order to help achieve goals related to the biodiversity conservation that help justify the 30 cross 30 target both at a global level and regional level. When the IC targets were established in 2010, 2010, roughly 13% of the world's territorial areas were protected, while very few protection existed in the ocean. Then currently, an estimated 15% of the world's land and 7% of the ocean are protected. In order to achieve the goal of the protecting at least 30% by 2030, then what we will need to do, we need to double the current land protection and more than the quadruple current ocean protection. See, during this AC target, only 13% of walls terrestrial areas were areas were protected and very few in case of ocean. Then estimated 15% of the walls land and 7% ocean now protected. Now if we our target is to achieve 30% by 2030, then we need to double the land protection. This is 15 should be 30, 7 should be more than quadruple. Means we have to keep uh, multiplying this protection again and again. Now, what will be the way forward? First, protected areas should meet both conservational niche and human niche. Second, in creating the newly protected areas, researchers and managers should consider how they will interact with the adjacent areas. Means if you are creating some protected area, you have to look at the biome region also. You have to look at the nearby region, adjacent regions also. That means how they will impart the changes in the nearby areas. The third is researchers and officials should assess 
how newly protected areas will interact with areas far away, including in the other countries. Then we should be guided by a metacoupling framework, which is an integrated way to study and manage human nature interaction within and between and between different places. Means to say, we have to again study that this conservation, this protection areas, means you know what we are focusing is that increasing the number of protected areas, right? First, we have seen that protected areas, how they are interacting with the adjacent area, then protected areas, how they are interacting with the areas far away from it, then how it is interacting, how, what is the relation growing on between this area and the human, okay? And between this place and between the different places, we have to frame a metacoupling framework Meta coupling framework to study this human nature interaction. Then it recognizes that human and natural system in a given place can be affected for better or worse by people, policies, and markets both nearby and far away. Then <clears throat> some value information like 30 cross 30 target. Again, you can discuss it. 30 cross 30 key. 30 cross 30 key means receiving 30 by 2030 then in the spirit of stockholm 50 stockholm plus 50 to build on 15 years of multilateral environmental action to achieve urgent action needed to secure a healthy planet the high ambition coalition for nature and people remember the high ambition coalition for nature and people is taking concrete steps towards moving into a new phase to support implementation of the global goal to protect at least 30 percent of the world's land and 30 percent of the oceans by 2030 the 3030 target is a global target that aims to hold the accelerating loss of species and protect the vital ecosystems that are the source of our economic security. Then high ambition coalition for nature and people is now supported by nearly 100 countries evolving into a new phase that to, be sub uh, to support implementation of global goal. Because this is a global goal, not just on one regional goal, right? Uh, yes, important step by initiated by high ambition coalition for nature and people but it is now being supported by more than 100 countries or nearly 100 countries. The High Ambition Coalition for Nature and People was officially launched in 2021, January, at the One Planet Summit, where One Planet Summit on biodiversity. The coalition is currently co-shared by France and Costa Rica with the United Kingdom as Ocean Co-Share. So I think this is enough for today. We have discussed a very important topic at least awareness point of view and GS paper three point of view. With this, I'm ending this session. Thank you very much.